Okay, today we're gonna test out the 3080 and the 9900K of 4040p ultra wide in Assassin's Creed Origin. See how it performs. Uh, we're gonna go to different areas to see uh, if it really tucks the GPU uh, to see how the game actually runs in reality. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the first location we are in is, I think it's Memphis. Memphis? Yeah, Memphis, there we go. <coughs> Memphis, uh, I choose this one because it's where the best mod runs. Um, let's first, oh, no, not the store. Uh, let's go to the options. Um, yeah, let's first see what we got going on there. Uh, everything is ultra. Uh, monitor, uh, 21 by 9 um, 40, 40 pills are right, and yeah, so everything maxed out. Now let's see how this game holds up with this GPU and this CPU. Um, it's like a little bug cat here because let's see, any Yeah, this is where the uh, benchmark goes in, and yeah, here you go, you know, click on that. So as you can see, the frame rate is absolutely tanking here because of the CPU. Let's see if the settings are actually correct. If this is oh, this is borderless. Let's uh, let's move to full screen. It could be the borderless kiss issues here. There we go. Okay, this, this makes more sense. Uh, 90 FPS is what uh, what you should be seeing. Uh, so yeah, my fault. It doesn't matter though. At the end of the day, uh, but it does matter because uh, yeah, CPU performance is a real thing. Okay, so as you can see here, there is a real CPU hit in this area. This is also why I really like to test there. Uh, benchmark really doesn't do it justice because for some reason it doesn't render um, the population well. So yeah, the performance is a lot less. Uh, you don't hear footsteps just because of my uh, my armor. Yep. the armor doesn't allow for footstep sounds. So. In general, um, it's a little bit lowish from what I would want, but it absolutely looks beautiful. So. I can't really complain here, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's move to another area. Nope. Let's move to the city in Alexandria. And after the city in Alexandria, we're gonna do the Stark area. Siwa, uh, Siwa, Siwa, or some shit. Okay, I know my horse. There we go. In every Assassin's Creed, they always change the where <laughs> how you call the horse up. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So you can really see a CPU about. Pretty heavily, actually. Uh, yeah, after rebar on, uh, I got the feeling with rebar on, you know, the frame rate in this game is just lower uh, on the CPU front. Kind of weird. Maybe there's a bug with it or some shit. Because I, I honestly thought that. Without B bar, I got like 10 FPS more here. But maybe it's a flux, who knows? Okay, so this is basically the performance you can expect in Alexandria. Uh, let's go to Siwa. And then we move to the uh, gold area, so see how it performs there. So Siwa is also really demanding, it's the starter area. Let's just walk to here towards the first house that we move into. 
of the start of the game and yeah, see what the performance really is there. I'm pretty sure this game runs from DRTX 12. Uh, yeah, so this is the start area when you move in. Uh, performance here is pretty good, not gonna lie. Yeah, there's no issue here at all. Let's uh, move to the other side. They enter the city. Um, I, I still think this is the best looking Assassin's Creed game. Um, maybe Odyssey in certain places can beat it, but in general the art and everything is the most consistent. The art, but also the visual effects, they're like really, really consistent. In Odyssey and Valhalla, it's really inconsistent. They, uh, at some points it looks really good, the other points it looks just bad. Um, so yeah, there's that. So yeah, uh, performance is uh, is fine. It's not fantastic, but it's fine. Hurry! Hey, hold on, you! Let's go to the uh, boat area and sail a little bit here. Well, actually, um, let's go somewhere else. So we are done with the main thingy. And we're now going to move to the DLC. And we're going to move to the gold world. I always test there because it's less CPU bound. So you can more see what your GPU can do in origin if the, yeah, the CPU bottleneck wasn't there. Yeah, there are a lot of settings in uh, Assassin's Creed games that uh, completely destroy your performance. Uh, I have them all on right now. So yeah, look at that detail, man. One of the best looking games, but I'm not even joking. Okay, here we go. So there's less uh, CPU bottleneck in this area. So you see about like 90, 100. Uh, this is one of the most beautiful areas in my opinion in the game. Like the colors, everything just looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, it, it performs like absolutely fantastic. Yeah, polymetric fork in this game is extremely demanding, but it adds a lot of detail. Uh, yeah, they're all like a bunch of settings. Let's see. Let's see where exactly. Graphics. Uh, the things that really tank the performance is full magic clouds and fog. Those two absolutely annihilate your performance. Um, but they look really, really nice. So I would still suggest to uh, to do it, you know. Let's see which this one was. Ah, we can do this one, and we finished off this one. Looks really, really nice, man. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. <laughs> So this is the most demanding, most difficult thing to render for my GPU, which is uh, encoding this video. 
uh, absolute shits the brick in situations like this, uh, which has a lot of like detail on the ground, for example, that shifts around. Same with like heavy rain. If you put like rain heavily on the screen on top of it, yeah, you will get like a little bit outputs. Yeah, so that's the performance. Uh, I must say it performs extremely smooth. Like this is really good playable. Um, I had some issues with my uh, 1080 Ti, where it was sometimes difficult to hold 60 or 1080p. Uh, so at this resolution, getting 100 FPS is uh, pretty bizarre to see actually. So yeah, um, I'm not sure if this there is a benchmark I think, right? But shall I do the benchmark? Well, maybe. Let's see. Make it. Why not, right? Why not? It's not in here. So, where is it? Play, maybe? No. There needs to be an option, right? Sound to graphics. Oh, here we go. Performance tool. In the benchmark. Like, I can't say how much I like how immersive the screen is. It's the same height as what you normally would have at 1080p or at the 4040p at like 27 inch. So there is no reduction or squeezing of the height, but it's like way more to the side so you have like your 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 eyeballs get way more sucked into it it's really nice but in the money to course you a grand dude like it's extremely expensive you pay pretty much double the price for a good one uh then it's standard 440p so you really need to want to have it it's hard to justify it though because uh, these days you have oled tvs right and oled tvs you can pay pretty much put the same aspect ratio in it but oled is kind of risky with windows because of burning so i didn't go that way and i must say the colors on the screen are just absolutely amazing uh, it's really, really, really good looking. This area was really demanding for Pascal GPUs for the Dowson series because they, uh, like how they were designed, the GPUs were designed, um, it really struggled with this. Look at that dude, it's beautiful. Yeah, performance is great, uh, no complaints about it. Anyway, I'm gonna close it down and uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.